welcome back. Today's video is going to be another tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I used the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and this is such a beautiful palette. I'm so in love with this palette. It is the perfect palette for a neutral lover like me. So as you can see it has a lot of neutrals in it, a lot of um, reddish tones, orange tones and I just really love this palette. It has matte shades, shimmers, and once I saw this palette, I knew I had to get it, and I knew I wanted to do a tutorial with it. And this is the look I came up with. I really hope you enjoy it, and without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so for today's tutorial, I already applied my base, so I am wearing my foundation, concealer, and eyebrows. And the first shade I'm going in with is called Burnt Soda, and this is from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. This is one of her new palettes, and it is so beautiful. It's a warm neutral palette and um, the only downside is that it has a lot of powder kick up because it is very powdery but the shades are easily blendable and they're super pigmented. Then the next shade I'm going in with is called Real Gar and this is going to um, warm up my crease a little bit more. Next I'm using the shade Antique Bronze and I'm going to apply this in my outer V to darken up my outer V and create somewhat of a smoky eye effect. And I'm not going in with a lot of product at once, I'm going to apply a little bit, blend it out and add a little bit more as I do usually. The next shade we're going to use for today's look is called Primavera and I'm going to apply this on my lid space where I didn't apply any outer shadow and I'm going to make sure it's all blended in with the outer V shade and my crease. And then I decided I wanted to intensify this look a little bit more so I went in with some anti bronze again and then I went in with some primavera again and blended it all out. Then I used real gar on my lower lash line and used burnt orange to blend it out and that way I am copying my crease shades. To highlight my brow bone I used tempera and as you can see I was really shocked with how pigmented it was so I decided to blend it out using a real gar, a little bit of real gar, not too much. And then of course we have to highlight our inner corners and for this I used the shade Vermeer. To open up my eyes a little bit more I used my Essence Nude Eyeliner. And then next it was time to curl those eyelashes. For today's mascara, I am trying out a new one. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It's not actually new, but it's new to me. And then it's time to move on to the actual face. First, I use my Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette. And I use the second contour shade, which is more on the cooler side. And then for bronzer, I used the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in Bronzer, which is a new one and I love it, it smells amazing, it's the perfect shade for me. For blush today, I used my e.l.f. blush palette in light and I used the second blush shade which is a very neutral one and it is right up my alley. And then of course it's time to add some highlighter. Today I used the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in Moonlight. And then lastly for my lips, I used the Colourpop Ultra Matte Lip in Stingray, which is an amazing dupe for Jeffree Star's Androgyny, so if you can get your hands on Androgyny, I would definitely suggest this one. And 
and that wraps up this makeup tutorial guys i really hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i will see you in my next video bye guys